Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Go and hit that subscribe button right now before you forget and hit that bell notification so you notified when I drop more videos like this. If you already subscribed, I want to take the time out to thank you for the subscriber that's been here, that's been watching the videos, because that's what this is all about. I'm trying to grow this channel. But today, I'm going to be cleaning the hot dog cart up. I got a few more things I got to get cleaned up on it and fixed on it to make sure that it's operating right. And then I gotta do, I gotta draw out some plans on the cart so I can put my review plan in. I'm gonna do all a little bit explaining on all that in a little bit. I gotta go get me some coffee. I usually make coffee here at the house, but I ran out of sugar and instead of going to get some sugar, I'm just fixing to go to Dunkin', get me some coffee, even though I drink Dunkin' coffee at the house. So Dunkin', y'all should sponsor me. But let me get over here to Dunkin' and stay tuned. All right, the brother over there, he on that truck right there it's always good to go and talk to people i was fixing to pass by because i see he was just setting up and i didn't really want to bother him and asked him where he uses as a commissary he pointed me out to this rv rv lot over here by the racetrack and what he did is he rented it for one day he rented the rv spot for one day he met the inspector over there and said that that's where he dumps his wastewater he told the inspector he told everybody like what he was doing and what problems he was running into and so he just was creative enough to find that spot i don't know if he found it or somebody else put him on it it don't really matter but it's genius to me so i'm about to go over here and see if i can either talk to somebody or if there's a phone number i can get and hopefully that problem is solved on hot dog cart with the commissary all right well what the commissary is I'm gonna try to explain a little bit what I'm facing when I gotta deal with to open this cart. What the commissary is, is the, the health food inspector, he wants your business to be ran safe and, and by the health code. So technically you have wastewater, which is hot dog water that's in the, in, the, in the little pan, which is really nothing, but it's some grease in there. So they want you to be able to dispose of that water. They want you to be able to dispose of that water and by code in the right way. So um, you have to have a place where you need to dump that, that wastewater. Now for a hot dog cart, that's all I need because I don't store food, so I don't have I don't need somewhere to store food. I don't uh, prepare food anywhere else. I prepare the food on the cart. So there's no need for uh, the, the traditional commissary where you gotta go it's not the same as the commissary where you gotta go and you gotta store your food there you gotta go there every day so you can I just need somewhere where I can go and dump my wastewater every day um, when I'm done is I'm gonna try this route right here hopefully this works outside of the commissary I have to get my occupational license which is called a tax receipt right down here in Florida where I'm at so I gotta get one of those for even though I do get a permit from the state which is statewide meaning that I can really set up anywhere in the state I still have to have a, a business license from where my business is being ran from I'm gonna purchase my trade name today once I get the trade name I gotta go and put in for my review that's why I gotta get the cart cleaned up get it all together I gotta get a drawing I gotta do a 3d drawing of it take a picture of it from the side and put my whole plan review together. I gotta put a menu together once I do all of that I'll be ready to get my hot dog cart permit statewide permit a majority of the 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 issue is gonna be with getting it set it up get it set up once I get all this stuff figured out I'm gonna start talking to people and figuring out where I'm gonna be setting my card up at and then I'm gonna run the cart for a week or two maybe whatever get some of the money up and then I'm gonna be starting to look for somebody to put on the cart so I can replace me and get back to doing what I do headed down here to the RV park real quick before I get before I have to go back to the house um stay tuned all right, we got this a little bit more clean, a little bit more organized. All that down there, that clean. Well, I can't see in there. All right, I don't know what was going on with my camera just then. It was so dark out there, I had to come inside because it's hot anyways, as you can see. I've been out there working, trying to get that uh, cart cleaned up so I can figure out what I was wrong with it, which I did. I don't know if you're going to be able to, I don't know if you can see it that good, so I'm going to explain it again. Basically, what's going on is the burner, the eyes on the burners are seized up and they won't turn. So I, even if it was gas that I can't, I wouldn't be able to get to find out the burner. So I'm going to see if I can price that whole unit, the whole burner unit with the knobs and everything. Oh, and then the sink 
sink. I believe it's the plumbing in the sink is not working um, because I put water down at the top. The faucet's on down at the bottom, nothing's coming out. I took the tops off of them and water was coming up to that point. So it's gotta be the faucet. So I'm gonna try to find two other faucets so I could take them off and put some something else on there um, that'll be working better than that. Pretty much that's it, gonna be it for this video. Hit that like button if you like this content. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet um, so you can see more videos and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop more videos like this. Until next time, peace.